much fun. What's up guys, Brad here. Deb and Bella. Welcome to the Piney Grove Fencing Channel. I feel like the, all the videos we've done here for over a month have been fencing, but that's what we're doing out here at Piney Grove. We're just about at the end of the road here and should be able to wrap up our back fence line today. First thing we had to do was pull out three T-posts that weren't in line, and now we're gonna put them back in in line and then start working our way down this fence. What do you think about this whole fencing ordeal, Deb? I think that it's taken a lot longer than either of us and Carmen anticipated. And I have high hopes that this will be the last day of the south side fence. Day 10, folks. He said he must have hit a root because it's not going down as well as it usually does. Nope. Uh-oh. Normally it's super fast. Let's see if this one goes faster. I'm already tired. Only done three posts. This is the last post on the south fence, I think. I think that's it, babe. That is the last post we have to drive on this back fence line. All right, now we've got to pull them up to make sure they're even. Some of them are a little short, and then we can start attaching to the T-post. One thing we've had to do down this fence line is lift these fence posts. You can see here's the top of the fence, and here's the top of the fence post. It needs to be at least even. We're doing it a little bit above in case we want to run an electrical wire or barbed wire across the top. And also because it looks a heck of a lot better when they're all the same. Uh, it's coming up easy. It's amazing when anything on this fence is easy. Yeah, no, nothing's been easy for sure. And that makes that fence post a little bit looser, but we have so many, they're every 10 feet going down this back fence line that over time this will tighten up as water gets around the base there and fills in that hole. I think you need to lift up one. You should have lifted up this one. Yes, I'm sure the one that I end up lifting up will be challenging or I'll make it challenging. I don't guess whatever she's rolling in smells good. Nope. It's Deb's time to shine. <laughs> Show us them muscles, Deb. Oh yes, that's what I'm known for, my muscles. All right, put your back into it. Is it moving or you need the pry bar? It's moving. It's moving. <laughs> I think last year we said she's got all the weight of a wet sheepdog. I don't think that's changed. Get that bar on there. We're gonna give her a little help. I'm still not gonna do it though. She's gotta be invested in this fence. I think I'm invested in this fence. There we go, set her up for success. Oh my, oh my, move that bell. And don't overdo it. Come on, lean into it. It's coming. Let me win. You can keep coming. A little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more. Right there, right there, that's good. You know what, go ahead and go ahead and do a bit more. It'll bother me if I come down this fence line and they're not even. Keep going. All right, we'll call that a day. Good job, Deb. Thanks, High babe. five, babe. Thanks, babe. One thing we've noticed here on this back fence line, it's only a four foot fence and deer can jump over. I think you need six feet or better to keep deer out. But we've noticed a, a significant decrease in the deer that are using the food plot. The food plot's actually getting overgrown because they're not in here like they used to be feeding on it every night. This is the last one we have to adjust. We just got to bring it up an inch or so. One thing Deb gives me a little bit of static about is she's like, oh, the posts are fine. So let us know in the comments down below if you would lift up the posts like this. Like this post would work but it's not even with the rest of them. I think the real obvious ones that are drastically off, I get, but this ground is not level anyway, so I don't think many people would worry about an inch. What do you think? So I keep telling her, we're gonna be on this property 30, 40 years, maybe just 30, but uh, every time we walk down here, we're gonna see this fence. And I already already feel better about it, like for the, the two thirds we've done already. Um, and she feels like it'll just kind of meld into the landscape and we won't, 
We won't care so much that we took all this effort. Most people don't care. He will care. Like he said, he would walk down this every time and it would drive him crazy. Me, I probably wouldn't. Again, the subtle changes, big changes, yes. So. Yeah, I think it looks a, a whole lot better. And I think that, um, like she just said, every time I would walk down here for the next 30 years, I'd be like, man, why didn't I put a little bit more effort into raising these posts a little bit? And, and, and he would have fussed about it and I would have to hear it. So I guess it's good that we're putting the effort in now. I think Deb is fibbing a little bit. I never fuss up. I never fuss about things. Who, who are you going to believe? Who are you going to believe? That's it. All fence posts are fairly even. There's his T-post. Pulled up pretty level. He'll be happy every time he walks down here. If this is the first Piney Grove fencing video that you've seen, you haven't seen us use this before, but this is simply an edger for your concrete sidewalk that we took the guards off of and we go along the bottom of the fence line to cut all the roots and chop all the roots so that the fence can go a little bit deeper in the dirt so predators and other things can't come under the fence onto our side. So I'm gonna go down here and create that trench, chop through these roots, and then we'll be ready to clip the T-post. All right, guys, we're all done edging, and I just wanted to show you, this was a brand new blade on there. And when this is brand new, it's squared off on the end. And you can see not only is it rounded, but it's also short because it doesn't go close to the guard there. But doing this 700 foot fence line, that's how much we wore that blade. We've got this whole thing ready to put T-post clips in, and Deb can tell you that's her favorite thing to do. It's yeah. your favorite thing to do, isn't it, Deb? Normally, clips are my favorite thing to do. These clips, not so much. We're on our fifth T-post. They're going okay, <laughs> eh, right, Deb? Yes, just eh. The bottom one's the hardest one. There's been a few roots, but we've done a lot more excavator work from this point forward, so it should be a little easier. Some of the clips are going on real nice, and some of them are uh, being a challenge. But it starts with me and you Our songs will never fade away We'll always be fighters I'll hold your hand today. So if it looks like we've been in a, in a brawl, not with each other, but in general, it's because it's been a fight all the way down here, but we've got five posts left. What, five, is it four or five per post? We're doing four. Four per post. post, so 20 clips left. Oh, praise Jesus. What do you think, Deb? I think I'll be glad when the five posts are done because as we've said since we started this, these clips and these posts have not played nicely with us and we fought every step of the way, but five posts, easy. Yeah, sometimes like these go really quick and we'll think, oh man, we, we've got it figured out and then, then we struggle. Okay, this is what we're gonna mean by an easy one. And this one's a little bit difficult because this wire is in the way. So I just push that wire out of the way. I show a little bit of this loop to Deb and she comes over the top and she twists and that's an easy one. That, that only took a few seconds. I come over here and cinch up the other side and that's an easy one. And this will be another example of an easy one. She loops it. I come over here and grab it, pull it tight. She takes it from the top flips it over, this extra wire stays right there. So it's like that. I tighten up this side. And if they all went like that, it would be easy, but they don't. We didn't get it on camera earlier, but uh, we have this ax with us. And Deb had some roots over on that side and she actually had to swing the ax on those roots. She did, twice, two different sets. So this one right here isn't gonna be too bad. This bottom one, because it's a little bit above grade, but most of them have been below grade, but Deb can't get her pliers really to twist it. This one, she might be able to. Yeah, got dirt in the way. Nope. Yeah. She's got a mound of dirt on the other side. So we got to actually take this one and do it a little bit differently. And usually it's underground. Keep my head out of the way so you can see it. But this one is, hasn't been pretty the whole way down. That's the first time we've had enough clearance that if the mound of dirt wasn't there, I could have done it. And then the last one, Deb should be able to get this one. And that's a complete T-post right there. And that was actually the easiest one we've had the entire time.
Which post is this, Deb? This is the last post. The last post of this entire fence line. Hallelujah. Right, Bella? Hallelujah. Okay, this is it. The last clip of the Piney Grove South Fence Project. Come on, Deb. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> There we go. Score. Bend the end. All right, folks, that's it. That completes the South Fence series here at Piney Grove. We sure appreciate y'all sticking with us. You got anything to add there, Deb? Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like too tired for an outro. That's all we got for today, guys. We'll throw up some link to some of our other videos, but until the next time, take care. And remember, life's short. Tractor hard. Tractor hard, guys. Take care. Yeah.